Well, if you thought Night of Speed was fast already, you ain't seen nothing yet. 24 of the fastest B-Mods across the Midwest will roll out for their A-Main 20 times around here at Lucas Oil Speedway on opening night here at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks. I'm Shane Freebie. Doug Neff is alongside, and Doug, after four heats, two B features, 24 cars are all set to go here for our A-Main. Man, and it is going to be an incredible one. Of course, great class right here, the B-Mods in action, and it's going to be a great 20 laps. Starting lineup for 20 times around. Fairgrove, Missouri's Caden Stacy will start on the point. A man that has been on a mission for a couple of years now, gradually getting better race after race. He starts on the pole, and J.C. Newell will be on his outside. He will start in the number 83. He is out of Buffalo, Missouri. Baser, Kansas's Austin Charles starts inside row number two, and Jake the Snake Richards outside of him, the 7J. He is out of Lansing, Kansas. Dylan Cantwell and Dayton Pursley make up row number three. Dayton won his heat earlier on. After the redraw, he's relegated all the way back to P6 to start this main event. Bobby Williams and Casey Thomas in row number four. Moberly, Missouri's Kyler Gerard starts inside row five, and Greg Scheffler outside of him. Then it's Sonny Jackson and Jay Flynn back in row six. Wes Holman and Jake Fetterman in row seven. Tyler Cadwallader in the 69er comes in after having nine wins a season ago. He will start back in row eight. Dwight Brown on his outside. And it's Ryan Thomas and Adam Dunwoody. Robbie Ewing and Bryce Gotch will make up row 10. And then the rest of your field with Spalding, Taylor, Fellers, and Briggs. 24 strong here on opening night here at Lucas Oil Speedway. All right, as we get ready to go <laughs> here tonight, the Lucas Oil Speedway pace truck out front. Find your favorite. Let them know you're out here. It's going to be 20 laps to decide it here tonight for the USRA B-Mod. Those are golf cars, USRA B-Mod class. Bill Roberts Chevrolet pace truck makes the hard right-hand turn. The beautiful Bill Roberts Chevrolet pace truck, that is. And Caden Stacy and J.C. Newell, two young guns. From just south of the Wheatland area, up on the front row, a multiple-time champ in Austin Charles starting inside row number two. And Jake Richards has won more races than you can count. He will start back and forth. The crowd on their feet, and the B-Mods roar to life here at Lucas Oil Speedway. Out front, Stacy and Newell. Newell now with the early, early lead out of turn number two. Stacy in that second spot as they come through here tonight. Caden Stacy will drop back a spot. Cantwell takes a wild ride as he's going to lose a couple of positions. He's all the way back, just almost outside the top ten. Jake Richards now to the inside of Caden Stacy. Stacy three wheeling around over in turns one and two. A lot of changes has been done on Caden Stacy's car over the years. He was a two-time winner at Springfield last year. Came here to Lucas Oil Speedway only once a season ago. Finished in fifteenth. He did have a seventh place finish two years ago, back in 2021. The two wins that Caden Stacy had last year at Springfield, the first two and only two of his career so far. As they roll through, it is still as the 83 pulling out a big lead. That is J.C. Newell. Newell now. Here comes Stacy. Stacy, the Fairgrove, Missouri, number 15 in that second spot. He has got Richards in that third spot as they come around. And Austin Charles, a young man from Baser, Kansas, in fourth. He drops back to fourth, multiple-time champion in his very young career so far. His dad raced, his grandfather raced, and the Baser, Kansas native now back in fourth. There's some debris on the track, and it might be the off of the 81, just looking at how bright yellow that was. He runs over it. It's almost the matching paint scheme. There it is. He already flipped it up after running over it. And the caution will come out, the Boone's Barbecue caution for the first time. Lap number four here at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks. And so far, Doug, this has been all J.C. Newell running out in front. He had built up a 1.2 second advantage. Time. Going to have one to go given to the field. 
We've got some great events going to be coming here for 2023. SRX is one of those. We've got sprint cars. 410 is going to be coming here. We've got uh, Thursday night shows that are going to be outstanding. you got to check the schedule. If you've never been here, it's it's got to be one of those places that you have got to come to and, and experience. Lucas Oil Dirt Late Models here for the Show Me 100, a three-day show. You mentioned the midweek madness that we have whenever the Legends cars come to town. Keelan Harvick was in for that last year, Kevin Harvick's son. So this is a bucket list track and venue to go to for a number of different reasons. Number one, it's the Diamond Dirt Tracks for a reason. It's just a beautiful facility as J.C. Newell has a good look at that big, huge Jumbotron. Over in turn number three, no cars in between him and it, but now Caden Stacy in that 15. He is starting to get a little sporty as J.C. Newell had built up a very sizable advantage over Caden, but now Caden has it within a second. He's alone in second. This is your fight for third as Bobby Williams looks to the inside of Jake Richards. Richards. In that spot coming around here tonight, Newell out front as they battle. Williams has been making his way up through the field. Now up to third, he's got Caden Stacy on his radar. Bobby Williams started in seventh. He's up to third, as you mentioned. Jake Richards back to fourth. And here's Austin Charles and Dylan Cantwell. This is a battle for fifth and sixth. Charles in the yellow 81. He now has the advantage, and now Jake Richards... Two car lengths ahead of the 81 right now. We talk about family tradition with J.C. Newell. You can say the same thing about Big Show Austin Charles. His dad, Danny, his grandpa, Tom, all raced up north here in the state of Missouri. And now Austin Charles is starting to carry that torch as well as a spinner. We'll bring out a Boone's Barbecue Caution again over in turns three and four. This is the double zero of Kyler Gerard bringing out the caution for the second time. And with that door handle wheel to wheel, still not quite ready. So probably going to have one more lap before we get back to racing action here on our season opener of the Big Adventure RV Weekly Racing Series here on MAV. So glad to have our entire MAV TV production crew here at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks for a number of races this year. Not only will they be here for the Weekly Racing Series, we'll have some other major events, the USMTS, as we mentioned. We'll have the uh, midweek shows. A couple of those will be here as well. So, again, yet another season of racing action from Wheatland, Missouri, and you get to see it all on MAV TV. As they come around, Newell brings them around on that Delaware restart into three and out of turn number four. Green flag in the hand, now in the air as they fly this time. Big time rolling start for J.C. Newell. He was a little ahead of tempo all the way down the back stretch in three and four, but all the cars that were in tow stayed. Lock and step with him. Bobby Williams takes advantage of getting the field bat bunched back up. Caden Stacy was securely up in second. And now Bobby Williams is going to start to knock on the door as he peeks his nose to the outside of the 15. It is J.C. Newell off front side by side. Caden Stacy and uh, Bobby Williams. Bobby Williams looking to the high side. Stacy on the low side looking to go around that 83 of J.C. Newell. Cannot find it this time. Boone's Barbecue Caution comes out again this time for looks as though something over in turn number two possibly, and there it is. It is the 42J, and not a great night for Don. As he will bring out the caution, slow the field down. It shouldn't take too long to get these cars back to where they need to go. As you take a look at it, he got a little bit of help there, Doug. Yeah, it looks like it looks like got into the end, that 15, or into his back, that 15 car, and power in the pits. They've got, uh, uh, if they need, and they're going to be here for a long time, they've got uh, water and all sorts of sources for them. So uh, just a great facility, and these drivers, like you said, put it on their bucket list to come to race at Lucas Oil Speedway. Have a camping area here, and they have a pond fully stocked with some pretty massive bass. You've been bass fishing? Uh, I've always been working it whenever uh, I've come up here, so I haven't. But I've seen the pictures of some of the big mouths that are able to be brought out of the pond area. And talking about big mouths, I'll go ahead and start talking again <laughs> as we're back to racing action. And J.C. Newell quickly out in front, and he's going to just tear away from the field this time where that last restart 
Caden Stacy and Bobby Williams were actually hanging with him. This time, not so much as JC is starting to pull away. He kept his tires nice and warm during that pace lap, if you will, whenever they were trying to get some of the cars taken care of. And it is showing as J.C. Newell now already out to almost a second lead over Bobby Williams. And here comes that 15 uh, coming across. That one of Bobby Williams in second. 15 of Caden Stace in third. It is the 81 of Austin Charles, the young man from up in Kansas City area in that four spot. Round out your top five, the 7J. That belongs to Jake Rickard. Yeah, you can see over there in turns one and two, whenever the cars try to navigate on the low side, it is starting to get choppy. Three and four. It typically dries out a lot better. Just the way the sun hits over in three and four, it's able to dry out. Here in one and two, it's oftentimes shaded, and you can see the remnants of all the loose ruts and whatnot down on the inside that's really causing these two drivers to, or these drivers have to take different approaches on both ends. And J.C. Newell, the pilot of the 83, has to go to the infield. Something breaks as he is leading, and that opens the door for Bobby Williams. And now the race is really on, where J.C. Newell had built up a big advantage, and nobody was in within reaching distance of him at all. Now Caden Stacy can smell some blood in the water as he's going to try to reel in Bobby Williams. The helmet already off of J.C. Newell. As they roll through here, it is Bobby Williams now trying to open up in the lead over to 15 of Stacy and the 81 of Charles now looking in, trying to show a wheel to that second spot, trying to get around with four, six laps to go, and I'm going down. So Bobby Williams out in front by seven tenths of a second over Caden Stacy. If you were to pick a handful of drivers to win here on opening night, Bobby Williams might not have been all that high on your list. J.C. Newell would have been one of them. Austin Charles would have been one of them. Caden Stacy would have been one of them. But right now, Bobby Williams leads all of them. Jake Richards now has Bryce Gotchel right in front of him. We told you Gotchel was working his way up towards the top five. That's exactly where Gotchel's at right now. He rides along in fifth. Jake Richards in sixth. Casey Thomas in that white number 42. He rides along in seventh. The last of those three cars, he peeks to the inside of Richards, tries to make something happen off of turn number two. Won't quite happen as Bobby Williams stretches his lead out even more. It is now .8 seconds over Caden Stacy. Laps wind down Jake Richards to the inside. Grabs the spot away from Bryce Gotchel. Gotchel drops back to sixth. Gotchel through turns three and four. Steps down on it and tries to draw in even closer to Jake Richards. And then... The Boone's Barbecue Caution comes out. You see the remnants of the 57J up on the top side of turn number three. That is Donnie Fellers from right here in Wheatland. He spins it around, brings out. He sits two times around for Bobby Williams. Caden Stacy tries to get to the inside on that opening turn as the green flag flops. And it is not going to work out for Caden Stacy, at least not yet. A run down the back stretch. Can he dive bomb inside the 1B? Williams will shut the door through turns three and four. White flag in the air. Three-eighths of a mile left for Bobby Williams. Grew up around Wheatland. Moved to Pittsburgh and now Caden Stacy. He's out of Fair Grove, about 30 miles to the south of here. They're side by side, will to will. Williams pinches him down through three and four. Caden Stacy gets the run, slide job off of four, and Caden Stacy, he leads one lap, and it's the most important one. He will win opening night at Lucas Oil Speedway, third win of his career, first ever at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks. Caden Stacy. Started on the pole, gave away the lead to J.C. Newell.